Yo, what's up there guys? This is Immersive Gamer 83 and thank you very much for stopping by. Today, we're finally getting Armour 3 up and running, man, and shit looks good. We've got full well, head tracking, we've got a nice little body going on there. Look at the lighting effects here, man. We've got a chopper inbound, yo. Over here, Gary. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh. All these environments look really fantastic, man, and... Uh, Wow, look at this, man. I think we're gonna get to get to go on this chopper look. Oh look at this. This is so cool, man. And it feels like it's right there, proper armored vehicles. Yeah man, this looks so awesome. All the lighting effects coming over. Yeah, oh other side. We get to go in. There we go. This is uh, absolutely fantastic so far, man, but everything is very, very difficult. Whoa, this feels weird. And uh, yeah, man, this game is really, really cool, but coming from a console background, there are a lot of buttons. There is a serious amount of buttons, you know, and uh, overall, I have managed to get a profile for it. It's called the uh, Pinnacle Profiler. It's an Xbox, con you know, command. But, you know, it, there's a lot of keys, so you still need a keyboard on your lap. Wow, wow this is absolutely crazy, man. Look, look at the state of it. There's, this, this island is absolutely massive as well. There's all kinds of different game types. I probably won't be playing through the campaign too much, but it, well, although saying that, if it's anything like this, then uh, if we can do it cooperatively, I'll be hitting it up. I'll be hitting it up with, uh, with VR Gaming Evolved and Game Hub. This is so cool. Another thing as well is uh, the actual the actual game has announced that it supports analog control input which means like the usage of things like flight sticks and steering wheels so like g27 and uh things like uh, well uh, you know hot ass controls hot ass hot ass whatever but i've got a uh, cheap black widow flight stick but i can't wait to get linked, linked up to this man apparently all of well all of the interior like dials and switches they all work as well so you can yeah. see well, altitude and all this cool stuff this looks mental though can't believe it man um, I played a little bit last night actually with Greg uh, from VR Gaming and uh, basically we, we got to go on a level called Wasteland and it was kind of the same island, all of, but there's no mission really. It's just a case of survival. So you have to survive, and it's really, really crazy the fact that, like, you know, literally everything you can think of, you have to do. You have to find food, water. You have to, you know, there's friends and foes everywhere. Oh, this is weird, man. Look at all this, though. This is so cool, man. And yeah, so we're, we're all of us on the same server, and uh, there's also civilian games as well with role play. Uh, called uh, Altis Life. We played a bit of that, and it was amazing. So I'm very grateful to for, to Greg for showing me this shit, man. Very, very grateful for, for actual Greg, Greg showing me this shit. Because uh, you know, I'm, this one was passing me by. Look at that, though. Look how the lighting just comes through, man. This is cool. So the actual lighting effects make this game look something else to be honest you know like just how 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 the light in you know the light shards come through and you can kind of see it kicking off that there it's, you know it's absolutely it's, it's something else man it's something else i mean that's probably not the best example of lighting because uh, you know we're looking at a boring crate but it, i've not got this game anywhere near turned problem. up to the Who max the and it looks the superb broke, man everybody knows it they can't even afford to defend their pointless little islands anymore so why do we get stuck? Officer. Corporal Ben Carey, reporting for duty. At ease. Okay, there's been a slight change of plan. Commander McKinnon requires logistical support down at Camino. He just left as you guys are coming in. Ooh. Any idea why, sir? No, Corporal. Now take the trucks over there. You should probably get a move on. This is Understood, pretty awesome, sir. to be honest. 
take the trucks. Where's the trucks at? Oh yeah, look, see the light in there, there. Yeah, man. And uh, yeah, so this game supports like proper analog oh. movement. Sounds like McKinnon needs oh, some driving. done at Camino. Yes. I'll drive. No, 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 I'll drive, I'll you drive. You sure you can handle that? Yeah, I can handle this. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Okay, so uh, when we start Sergeant off, Lacey, initially, truck. your head We're is locked in Camino. position. So the second button Hold in from the, the right staff, unlocks your head. Your sure, appreciate wow. It. You know, Kerry, the service here sure is excellent sometimes. This is cool. Look at all the knobs and switches and that. 3D is a lot better than I thought it would be as well, considering it's Z-Buffer, man, and, uh... Wow. What can I say? I mean... Alright, take the dirt road out of the camp. Okay. I'm, I am using a 360 controller, um, but it's mapped as keyboard and mouse controls at the minute. So, I don't know how well this is going to go. Oh, that's... Yeah, this is mad. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this. That looks like it goes on for miles and miles and miles. Like the depth looks really good. Take a left at the T junction. And Sorry, Gary, lads. Do try not to make roadkill of the local wildlife. The Greenbacks already hate our guts. We need to at least keep the goat population on side. You Where are we going down soldier? there? Minimize collateral damage, sir. Hearts and minds, sir. Whoa! Shit. Oh wow man, look at the light coming in through the top of the window and that. It's like really dynamic as well, it's just kind of like... Look over there, look, you can see right off into the distance. I'm looking forward to actually getting on, on some of the uh, open world games. I mean, to start off with, I had a bit of a problem with like a memory leak or something, because, you know, the game was was cutting out after about, you know, sort of uh, maybe half an hour, 30 minutes. I'm hoping I've sorted it now. I followed some some crazy Nigel's guide or something. Look at that! I can't see where I'm going. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. There's a checkpoint up ahead. Slow it down. Nice and easy. Yeah, man. Are we good? And as I said, man, all the dials and controls, everything is fully working, man. So, like, no the altitude in a helicopter. So, literally, you could, this is like a helicopter Sergeant simulator now. Really I'm going to sit. At the, soldier. At the moment, that? though. Yeah, yeah okay, mate. I'll put on my best smile, sir. At the moment, though, I mean, yeah, I, I'm still struggling a little bit with my back, so I can't set up my wheel or anything yet. Look at the light through the trees. But as soon as I get a chance to set that G27 up, man, I'll definitely be having a look at this game. This, this could be something. Carry. This could be it's something all else. Clear. Oh, sure. Okay. I mean, Christ, give me a break. What a complete waste of time on these people. Look at this, man. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just get to Camino. Keep me eye on the road. <laughs> this is so cool. And the fact that every you can just go everywhere. I'm looking forward to playing that. Uh, you know, the the one that's just uh, you know, you can do anything. All right, there, lads. Everything all right? Yeah, that's going to be really interesting. I mean, I think people do role play it like seriously hard, though. You know. Like, um, I saw a bit of it from that, uh, was it Frankie 1080p or whatever? He does some cool stuff like on that Altus Life. Wait, Robin Banks and shit. Jailbreaks. Shit! Stop the truck, Gary! Where are we going? Broadway, this is Point X ray. Message over. Go ahead, X ray. Over. We lost contact with Camille. I say again, lost comms with Camille. Can you confirm? Over. Mmm, that's no good. It's rolled. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, probably a good point to call it here, guys. But, you know, overall, this is just like a first little look. If you want to see any more, maybe like me and me and Greg getting our game on, you know, let us know, man. I'm, I'm not even going to do the mission, like, but 
if you want to see some more or maybe if you'd like to see you know how if I can get it working with the flight stick and just get in a helicopter and taking that for a lick but you know or even a plane or a jet I can't wait to try out the fly stick with this man especially now it's got the uh, the VR implementation going on really 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 awesome to be honest and uh, very exciting times I'm not 100% sure like what the buttons are as I said you know because you can put down your weapon and all that stuff I've still got to learn to be honest but so far very very awesome looking game very very impressed with this and uh, yeah uh, hopefully that everything is you know going to be going to be sorted with this memory leak issue I was having um, also for any of you guys that are trying to get it booted in the DK2 I had a big problem there as well um, I resolved it by putting the the DK2 as the primary monitor and uh, basically there's a client for it for Alma. you put in dragging the client over to the uh, the rift screen and starting the actual game in uh, borderless windowed mode that means I'm able to record it with uh, without any, without any sort of uh, taskbars in it and stuff like that uh, and also I don't get no taskbars while I'm playing as well so fix some issues there guys look over there look can't wait to go and you know just explore this place man very very nice so yeah I mean a uh, massive shout out to, to Greg uh, uh, VR Gaming Evolved as well for letting me know about this man really really happy that you showed me this bro um, you know, I can't wait to see what you know what this wasteland is saying as well, and you know stuff like that. So yeah, overall, uh, if you enjoyed this, smash that like. If you want to see some more of this, maybe some co-op stuff, then let us know in the comments, man. If there's something you didn't like or something that you want us to improve on, you know, of course, let us know there as well. And uh, yeah, I hope to catch you on the next video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Immersive Gamer 83. Out. Take care. Bye bye.